Hey, what's going on guys? Campy Elite here. Today I am going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies. I do know I have covered a lot of the rumors on the channel lately, but I do think it is pretty interesting to take a look back once the game comes out. Once we get an official trailer, an official statement stating what the uh, actual storyline is going to be, once we see how it is, I do think it would be pretty interesting to look back at some of these rumors just to see which one was absolutely dog shit crazy. So that's why I do like to cover these. This one is actually pretty legit though. It's coming from Long Sensation Source. If you guys don't don't remember that last year when uh, Black Ops 3 was coming out and we got all types of GameStop rumors and leaks and stuff like that. Long Sensation had a source with pretty much leaked zombies. We had multiplayer information and storyline information and all that came true. So I do think that this one is going to be pretty legit. And actually the stuff that they do say here actually does seem like something Infinity Ward would do and something that they would try to put into their zombies mode. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So here's how it starts off. Zombies. Originally Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was going to be a multi-game storyline expanding across several Infinity Ward games, but due to fan feedback of Advanced Warfare, Activision asked Infinity Ward to move that idea away, and uh, instead of Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare Zombies will be its own unique storyline that will end in DLC 4 of Infinite Warfare, so that's pretty interesting. Apparently, what was going to happen was, say, Sledgehammer was going to do Exo Zombies, and then this year we would have, like, Space Zombies, and then we'd keep going, 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 and then all the storylines would pretty much come out to be one thing, but since people really didn't like Exo Zombies, they decided, hey, let's just make our own thing and I do think that is for the better now we have storyline and gameplay Infinity Ward have done an exceptional job of making this year's zombies experience something that zombies fan will love and play hours on end with similar gameplay mechanics that we see within Treyarch games although traditional gameplay mechanics remain with infinite warfare zombies your zombies experience will expand across the solar system Infinity Ward plans to create a brand new storyline completely separate from Treyarch and sledgehammer games and with a whole solar system at their disposal they plan to do exactly that so this is what I I mean I do think that this is something that we will be seeing inside of infinite warfare just because it, it makes no sense to put space in a game but not capitalize on going to space and fully going to different planets and stuff I do think that would be pretty stupid so obviously that's why I'm thinking this is a bit more legit now we have this so this is pretty much the backstory the bio pretty much the synopsis of what this is gonna be chemical warfare on earth has led to billions of people infected with a human engineered virus and with earth no longer being safe humans find safety on other planets around the solar system or so they think Throughout the Infinite Warfare's DLCs, expect to travel throughout the solar system to fight off the undead and with new wonder weapons, perks, and more. Zombies will remain classic Call of Duty zombies, and although your scenery may change as you travel throughout the solar system, there is no hiding on your quest of survival. So that means no matter what happens, no matter what planet we go through or go to, we will be staying at the core of zombies, which means we will have no exos, we will have no thrust, we will just be boots on the ground for zombies. They're saying they are going to keep it classic and they are not going to be doing exo zombies so i do think that is fantastic that is definitely something that i was worried about like having zombies from another developer especially after we had exo zombies i do not want that mess to happen again but here's what we have here these are pretty much the features of the new zombies mode it says easter eggs will be the most difficult to complete in call of duty zombies history in fact the developers think that it will take at least three months for fans to complete the main easter egg of the first map now that's insane wonder weapons will return pack a punch will return perks will return Turn. instead of drinking them you will inject them challenges will be given to players every several rounds similar to call of duty ghost multiplayer field orders games will launch with two maps and one map with each dlc so already here we do have uh, the challenges uh coming back which does seem like that is uh coming from that other leak that we did see where they do say there is going to be challenge rounds so that is pretty interesting that that bit of detail will stay inside of the league so i wonder what's going on there you guys can definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this i do think that this one is pretty legit just because it, it talks about how they want to uh keep, pretty much keep the core of zombies without doing exo zombies they don't want to do anything drastic that will make people be like okay well this is another year of exo zombies i might as well not play it i do think that they are being very smart with this you guys can obviously let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this are you guys excited for call of duty infinite warfare zombies i know i am i'm, I'm more curious than anything about anything going on with infinite warfare because we have not seen multiplayer we have not seen zombies but we've heard so many rumors about it i'm actually just curious to see how it actually is going to play out let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below thanks for watching guys camp elite and i'm going camp